Good morning. I am Shivila from India. Uh, here I have a question. You started with uh, your speech with the statement that Islam is a latest religion or a revolution in the religion. And uh, if it is a re latest religion, what would be the earlier religion to before this Islam? And same thing goes with the Holy Quran. If it is a latest one, there must be something before the Quran uh, which tells about God and the rules what we have to follow to reach to the God's place. Sister asked a question that I said in my lecture that Islam is the latest religion and it's a revolution. There's a slight misunderstanding. I never ever said Islam is the latest religion. I said Sorry. Quran is the last revelation, not revolution. Okay. And Islam is not the latest religion, it's the first religion. Okay, before that one, before there were people, before the uh, Islam, there are many religions or many this one. What would be those, what would be the rules of that religion or what would be the... Sister, there's a misconception amongst most of the human being that Islam is a new religion that came 1400 years ago and Prophet Muhammad is the founder of the religion of Islam, peace be upon him. This is totally wrong. Islam is there since time immemorial, since man set foot on the earth. And Prophet Muhammad is not the founder of the religion of Islam. He is the last and final messenger of Allah. So there is a misconception that Islam did not come 14 years back. Islam came since man set foot on the earth. Since tens and thousands. And Islam is the first religion and the only religion. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Imran chapter 3 verse 19, Inna dina in the Lail Islam, the only religion acceptable in the sight of Almighty God is Islam. Islam means submitting your will to God, come from the Arabic word Sil. So you ask me the question, what were the rules before Islam? There was no human being before Islam. So all the messengers, Adam, peace be upon him, Noah, Abraham, uh, Jesus, and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. By name, 25 are mentioned in the Quran. But our beloved Prophet said there were 124,000 messengers sent on the face of the earth. So according to Islam, Islam is the only one religion that Almighty God sent. But by passage of time, people kept on changing it. So whenever they change, another messenger came and Prophet another prophet was sent. So according to the hadith, Sayyid hadith in Mishkat al Sabi, it says that there were 124,000 messengers sent on the face of the earth. Every nation was sent a messenger. By name only 25 are mentioned. As the message changed, Almighty God sent a new messenger. So when it got changed, it became into a new religion. But the true religion is only one, which is Islam. Islam means submitting a will to God. Islam comes from the root word salam means peace. So Islam means peace acquired by submitting a will to God. So what you find today, religion is only one by Almighty God. And if you do a survey system in all the major religions today, whether it be Hinduism, Judaism, Christianity, all these religions, what I tell a person, not me, that there are hundreds and thousands of religion today. Correct sister? Yes. I give a common solution which will, which everyone would accept. If only I accept and you don't accept, what is the use? Correct? Let's come. So Quran says in Surah Imran chapter 3 verse 64 kalimatin sawa im baina baina Come to common terms as between us and you. So I tell a person okay, let us agree that one book is 100% the word of God and authentic. So the Hindu will say, I don't mind believing Veda to be the word of God. The Christian will say, I don't mind believing Bible to be the word of God. The Jew will say, I don't mind believing Torah to be the word of God. The Muslim will say, I don't mind believing Quran to be the word of God. So no fighting, correct? I give a common solution. You know, when I was in school, I learned about the Venn diagram. Venn diagram means there are two circles. What is common? It belongs to both. There can be three circles. So I give a simple solution. Let's not fight. Let us agree what is common in all these scriptures. What is common? Let us follow. What is not common? We will not fight. We will discuss tomorrow. But let us agree 
to follow what is common. I am not here to bring division. I am here to unite. But what has happened? Every religion has this dharma guru, you know, yeah, yeah. that they yes. make advantage for them, yes. so that you know, if everyone follows me, I'll become rich. I'll become popular. I tell by I am not here. I am no dharma guru. I am only a student. So I give a solution that let us agree what is common in all the scripture. I am not saying only follow Quran. Muslims, you want to follow? Okay, I want to follow. Let us agree to follow what is common in Quran, in Veda, in Bible, in Torah. What is not common, we'll discuss tomorrow, right or wrong. So I have given a lecture on concept of God in major world religion. Now, when we study the scripture, when you, when you will. Read the you are a Hindu, correct? Yeah, Sister? I am a Hindu. Yes, yeah, so Hindu, Hindu by definition means a person living in India. Yeah. So by definition, I am also I'm Hindu. I am from India. <laughs> I am also from India. <laughs> but Swami Vivekananda said the right word should be Vedantis, those who follow the Vedas. Yes. Now, if you read the Veda, if you read the Veda, and if you read the Upanishad, the scriptures of the Hinduism, Upanishad, Vedas, if you read the Chandogya Upanishad, chapter number six. Section number two, verse number one. Ikkam ivdityam. God is only one without a second. It's further mentioned in the Sveta Sattara Upanishad, chapter number six, verse number nine. Nacha se kasi janita na chadip. Of that God, he has got no superior. He has got no father. He has got no mother. It's mentioned in the Sveta Sattara Upanishad, chapter number four, verse number 19. And in Rajurubay, chapter number 32, verse number three. It says, Pratima Asti. Of that God, there is no Pratima. Pratima in Sanskrit means idol. photograph, picture, idol, painting. Yes. Uh, so, uh, Pratima Asti. Of that God, there is no Pratima, there is no picture, there is no painting, there is no idol, there is no sculpture, there is no photograph. Who says that? Veda. Yajurved chapter 32, verse number 2. Correct? Yes. So, you as a Hindu should believe in that. Forget what the Quran says. Correct? You have to believe there is only one God. Yes. You should believe God has got no idol. God has got no picture. God has got no painting. Correct? Yes. You have to believe. I tell the Christian. It's mentioned in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 6, verse number 4. It says, Shama Israelo Adna Adna Israel, the Lord, our God is one Lord. Moses said that in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verse number 4. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said in the Gospel of Mark, chapter number 12, verse 29. So let us believe that. God is one. It's mentioned in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 5, verse number 7. It says that thou shall have no other God besides me. Thou shall have no other graven image of anything, of any likeness, in the heaven above, in the earth beneath, in the water beneath the earth. Thou shalt not bow down to them, nor serve them. For I, thy God, thy Lord is a jealous God. So Judaism says that, Christianity says that, God is one, God has got no idol. What is in the Quran? If you ask a Muslim, what is the definition of God? Allah, the best reply I can give you Surah class, chapter number 112, verse number 1 to 4. Kulu Allah wahad, Allah husamad, lam yulid wa lam yulid wa lam yukul lo kufana. Say there is God one and only. He begets not noisy begotten. He is absolute and eternal. He begets not noisy begotten. And there is nothing like Him. So now Quran says that, Veda says that, Torah says that, Bible says that God is one. God has got no idol. God has got no image. We have to worship Him only. So when I tell the Hindu, why do you do idol worship? Hindus are against me. Why? I am telling, I am quoting Sanskrit. And the Hindus of Malaysia are more against me than the Hindus of India. Also. <laughs> you know, they give me free publicity here. So I am asking, am I telling something against? I am saying, come to common terms. Oh, Zakir is dividing people. Where am I dividing? I am uniting. I'm not telling you to come and join me. I'm just a student. And I have discussion with the Dharma Guru. You know Shri Shri Ravi Shankar? Yes. He is the one of the most popular Hindu spiritual leader in the world. When I have discussion with him on the stage. Correct? I have a discussion with him. It is in recording. So I'm telling, I'm not come here to divide. I'm come here to unite. Then I tell them, it is mentioned in your scripture. If you read Kalki Avatar, you know Kalki Avatar? Yes. If you read Kalki Purana. Kalki Purana, it says in Kalki Purana, chapter number 2, verse number 5, 7, 9, 11, 14. I'm giving references. 
that there is an akri avatar to come yes. whose father's name will be vishnu yas vishnu means god yas means servant servant of god the name of the father of prophet muhammad was abdullah servant of god who says that kalki purana not the quran it says the mother's name will be sumati sumati means peace serenity the name of the mother of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was amina peace serenity he will be born in the village of sambal the village of peace makkah he will be born in the tribe of the leader of makkah muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was born in the family of quraish he will get enlightenment in a cave he got in garahira he will migrate northwards and come back prophet muhammad migrated northward to madina and came back he left four very close friends the four khulfa rashidin who says that kalki hota this is not in the quran do you know quran doesn't say that quran doesn't speak about what the four friends that's been the hadith we believe in it but it is then kalki purana detail so when your scripture says that the kalki avatar is going to come why don't you believe in the kalki avatar sister can you tell me who is this kalki avatar the no scripture avatar. Tenth, yeah, the tenth author of Vishnu, we believe like that. Tenth author of Vishnu, which is the last one, huh? who is to, who will come to? Oh, who earth. will come? Who is he? I don't know. I'm helping you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm. I agree with. I've read your scriptures. I'm not arguing your scriptures right or wrong. You are a Hindu. You believe. You follow. You tell me anything from the Quran, any verse. From any of the 114 chapters, whether you like it or don't like it, you may not believe. You tell Doctor Zakir, you are a Muslim. Why don't you follow chapter number so and so, verse number so and so? If I don't, I will say I'm wrong. I'll follow it because I believe Quran to be the word of God. When you believe Vedas and the Hindu scripture to be the word of God, why don't you follow? Am I here to divide or unite? Unite. So please, can you tell to your Hindu friend here? Sure, sure. I, I have come to Malaysia to unite the Hindu Muslim, not to divide. But the problem is that no one will follow the Hindu leader here. You are seeing in India, mashallah, I give lectures in large audiences, and on average, twenty-five percent are non-Muslims, are about Hindu. In Bombay, when I gave a lecture to three hundred thousand people, mashallah, seventy-five thousand were Hindus. Hundreds of thousands of Hindus come, and we give first appointment on Muslim. Most of these people they come, they ask question, they may agree, they may disagree. So my question again, sister, do you believe there's one God? Yes. Do you believe idol worship is wrong? Yes. I Very good. Do you believe that Prophet Muhammad is the last and final messenger, which is mentioned in your Kalki Avatar? Yes. I you believe? Halas. The two minimum thing required, sister, for anyone to become a Muslim. The two basic criteria required for any human being to be a Muslim is first to agree there is one God who has got no idols. Second is to believe Prophet Muhammad is a messenger. See, when you take admission in a school, you require a criteria. Then you may go from nursery to junior KG to first standard to second standard, third standard. To enter the school of Islam, the only true religion is to believe there is one God and to believe Prophet Muhammad is a messenger. So, according to me, you are a Muslim sister. If you believe there is one God, correct? Yes. And if you believe that idol worship is wrong, yes. and you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger, that is the basic requirement to be a Muslim. Then you may get second class, first class distinction. That is it. But minimum for anyone to be a Muslim is to believe in these two things. And Muslim again doesn't mean your name should be Zakir Sultan Muhammad. Muslim is a person who submits his will to God. Submit the will to God. So I am asking the question, sister. I have come here to unite. You tell me anything from the Quran. Ah, you are talking big lectures. Okay, why don't you follow this verse of the Quran chapter? And if I am not following, I will start following. Correct. What I am here to come and find the commonalities between the Hindu scriptures, between the Bible. And if I am wrong, you can come and tell me I am wrong. I am a human being. I can make a mistake. But Tell me where my mistake is. Just by writing articles that Zakir has come to divide, Zakir is a terrorist, Zakir is doing money laundering. <laughs> by this, can I tell 
Vedas are the base for the Quran or the uh, rules for the Islam? See what you have to realize, yeah. Almighty God, it says in Surah Raj chapter 13 verse 38, that Vukulli Ajidin Kitab, in every age there was a revelation. This is the verse of the Quran that Allah has sent several revelations. By name, only four are mentioned. Torah, Zabur, Injil and the Quran. But there were many which is not mentioned. You are asking me, can you say it is the base of the Quran? Not for sure. Because the name is not mentioned. We believe that Injil was the Wahi given to Isa alayhi salam. Zabur was the Wahi given to David, peace be upon him. Uh, and then uh, uh, Torah was the Wahi given to Moses, peace be upon him. And Quran was the Wahi given to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam. But there were many other revelations. By name, I don't know. Similarly, by name, only 25 messengers mentioned in the Quran. Adam, Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon them all. But the Prophet said 124,000 messengers were sent on the face of the earth. You ask me the question. Anybody can... from India? Yes, yes. So you ask me the question, can Krishna be considered as word of, can Krishna be a messenger of Allah? Can Ram be a messenger of Allah? I said, maybe. Maybe yes, maybe no. I don't know. I cannot say Ram alayhi salam because his name is not mentioned. Maybe he is, maybe he is not. Can you consider Veda to be the word of God? Was the earlier question. I can say maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But if I read the Bible today, there are certain things mentioned in the Bible I cannot agree. Bible says that Lut alayhi salam, knows Billah, he had incest with his daughter. I cannot believe. So what I say, Bible is the changed form of the Injil. It is not original form. So today also what you have, if you put to test all the religious except the Quran, the test of science, they will fail. I'm not here to give a lecture on disagreement between the Veda and the science I can give. But that's not my purpose. So if you put this test of science to Bible, to Veda, to all of the scriptures, they will fail except Quran. So even if it was the word of God, today what you have is the changed form. So what I can say, Veda may be the word of God, I don't know. Krishna may be the prophet, maybe, may, I don't know. But, but the point to be noted, all the prophets that came before last and final messenger prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, they were only meant for those people in that time. Like Moses peace be upon him was only meant for the Jews. Isa alayhi salam was only sent for the Jews. But Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is the last and final messenger. He was not sent only for the Muslims or the Arabs. He was sent for the whole of humanity. So even if I agree that Ram was a prophet of God, even if Krishna was a prophet of God, he was meant for those people at that time. Today, all the human beings, whether they are living in Malaysia or Saudi Arabia or India or Pakistan or USA or UK, you have to follow the last and final messenger Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. That was what is mentioned in Kalki Avatar. That is what is mentioned in the Bible in the Gospel of John chapter number 16 verse number 12 to 14. Jesus Christ peace be upon him said, I have many things to say unto you, but he cannot bear them now. For he when the spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. He shall not speak of himself, all that here shall he speak. He shall glorify me. So Jesus Christ peace be upon him said, I have many things to say, but you can understand now. When Prophet Muhammad will come, he will tell you peace be upon him. Same thing in Kalki Avatar. So I am telling even if Ram was a messenger of God, I am not saying he was. Even if he was, even if Krishna was, all of them pointed out to a final messenger to come, Prophet Muhammad. Even if Veda was the word of God, all the messages, all the revelations that came before the Quran were only meant for those people at that time. But Quran is not meant only for the Muslims or the Arabs. The Quran says in Surah Ibrahim chapter 14 verse number 1, in Surah Ibrahim chapter 14 verse 52, it's mentioned several places that the Quran is sent for the whole of humanity. So even if Veda was the word of God, even if Bible was the word of God, today you have to follow the last and final revelation of the glorious Quran. So I'm not conflicting, I'm conciliating. So your scriptures talk about the last messenger to come, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, with the last revelation of the Quran. And if you sister believe that there's one God, and you believe idol worship is wrong, and you believe that Prophet Muhammad is a messenger, according to me you're a Muslim. Would you like to say it? Yes. Would you like to say it in Arabic? Same thing. That there's one God. One God, yeah. And Prophet Muhammad is a Muslim. Would you like to say it in Arabic? Would you like to say it in Arabic? I will say it and you can repeat it. Yeah. Is, 
Is anyone forcing you to do it? No, 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 no force. Are you doing it out of your own free will? Yes. Otherwise, Vaya Murthy will say that Zakir is, you know. <laughs> you know, someone told me that the Hindra went to UK and they said that Malaysia is doing ethnic cleansing. So you are saying out of your own free will. Yes. So tomorrow, Vaya Murthy comes, you can testify that Dr. Zakir, I didn't force you. I'll just say it in Arabic and you can repeat it. Okay? Ashadu. Allah, Allah, Ilaha, Ilaha, Illallah, Illallah, Wa Ashadu, Wa Ashadu, Anna, Anna, Muhammadan, Muhammadan, Abduhu, Abduhu, Wa Rasuluhu, Wa Rasuluhu. I bear witness, I bear witness that, that there is no God, there is no God, but Allah, but Allah, and I bear witness, and I bear a witness that, that Prophet Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad is the messenger, is the messenger and servant of God. Servant of God. Mashallah, you are a Muslim sister, and I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may he give you more guidance. We have come here to unite, we have not come here to divide, and my same policy with the Muslims. There are different Muslims in Islam, there should be no sect. Unfortunately, because of culture, the culture of India is different, Pakistan is different, Malaysia is different, Indonesia is different, but we all are the creator of the same God, and we should follow the same faith. There can be difference in culture, no problem. But our deen, in the deen in the land Islam. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may He guide you more. And through you, let more human beings unite. And I pray to Allah that may He grant you Jannah, so that you get paradise, inshallah. Thank you. Thank you.